in on baton twirling, it is our purpose to present the basic essentials, the true fundamentals that are actually necessary for the student beginner, showing only what can be clearly understood by watching the pictures as they progress. Complicated routines and movements may be developed after the fundamental movements have been acquired and learned. A personal teacher will help you greatly. You may also be able to work out your own tricks and stunts. The art of baton twirling is not a magic art. It presents no mysteries to anyone with average athletic ability, sincere desire to practice consistently and regularly. When beating time, hold the baton with a relaxed grip remembering that it must be kept high enough to be seen by all members of the band. Execute the salute by turning the wrist toward the body with the back of the hand resting against the chest and allow the baton to slide through the hand until it is finally grasped just below the ball. To execute the wrist twirl, the baton is held in the hand loosely by the thumb and first finger. The other three fingers are wrapped around the shaft and act as pushers. The baton is held above the center of balance, toward the ball, and about six inches from the body. The arm is flexed at the elbow so as to offer ample space for the ball. By rotating the wrist forward, the baton will revolve in a complete circle, the ball revolving inside of the arm and the shaft revolving outside of the arm. By keeping the arm and wrist relaxed, the baton will revolve in a smooth and continuous circle. In demonstrating the figure eight, grasp the baton in the right hand and with a sweeping motion, swing it to the left side of the body, at the same time turning the palm downward, then upward again with the three fingers not grasping the baton, pushing to give momentum. As this movement is completed, the baton swings back to the right side of the body. When it returns to the original position, repeat the same movements as before. By continuing this motion with an equal swing on either side of the body, the baton will appear to be making a figure eight pattern in front of you. The two hand twirl is the general foundation for the majority of all hand baton movements. To start the spin, Hold the baton in the right hand, ball to the right, palm down, slightly above waist level. The left hand is held palm up and above the right hand. Start the baton revolving by turning the right wrist to the right, and the baton will revolve one complete revolution before it is finally resting on the thumb above. The baton must revolve one half a revolution in midair as it rolls off the thumb before the left hand grasps it with the ball to the left. The left hand reaches in, palm up, and grasps the baton just as it completes the one half revolution in midair. The ball is to the left as the catch is made. To pass around the back, the baton is first grasped in the left hand. The ball is turned downward and the baton is passed behind the body into the right hand, which grasps it in such a way that the thumbs touch. The right palm is out and not in toward the body. When caught in the right hand, the shaft revolves upward with the ball going forward. As the baton reaches the front of the body, the ball revolves downward to give smoothness to the movement. Start the cartwheel by holding the baton in the right hand and with a sweeping motion swing it into the position of the figure eight on the left side of the body. The left palm is up above the right hand. As the baton revolves upward and the shaft finally revolves to the front resting on the thumb, the left hand, palm up and above, reaches in and grasps the baton so that the thumbs will intersect. This maintains the same point of balance. When grasped in the left hand, the baton is swung to the right side of the body. The same action is completed there. Remember this, the right hand will be above the left this time.
Try the four-finger twirl only after the movements are mastered. Learn by moving the baton over one finger at a time. We'll analyze the steps for you by going slowly. The baton is held waist high, ball to the right, between the first and second fingers of the right hand. The thumb lies over the shaft and the other two fingers are bent back out of the way. The palm is up. Finger twirls represent the zenith of gracefulness in baton twirling. To be considered an outstanding twirler, you must master thoroughly the finger movement. Let's look closely again. Turning the baton one half a revolution brings it into position on top of the second finger. Another half revolution brings it on top of the third finger. The first and second fingers are bent back out of the way. Another half revolution places the baton on the little finger. The other three fingers have moved out again and lie against the shaft. The palm is now turned down and the baton is slipped off the little finger. Make the twirl continuous by grasping the baton with the first finger each time it comes off the little finger. The wrist action throw is started by passing the baton around the body. The right hand uses the same motion as in a two-hand spin with more of a swing in the arm movement and a quick snap of the wrist as the baton swings upward. The baton is swung almost shoulder high before it rolls over the thumb into the air with the shaft end leading. The spin is so fast that you can see a definite hub in the circle which the baton is describing. To catch the throw, use the right hand so you lose no speed swinging into a different movement. As the baton descends, the right arm is almost head high, hand outstretched, palm and thumb to the front. The catch is against the thumb and palm. Keep your eyes focused only on the hub of the revolving baton. Don't watch the end. Reach in and grasp the hub without hesitation. When your hand closes over the shaft, the baton is about at a waist-high position, and it swings immediately into a pass around back, the most graceful movement to follow the catch. Once the rudiments have been mastered, it is easy to assemble them into a routine. The routine which you are now watching is composed of only the nine fundamental rudiments which are required for contest competition. It is worked out by going directly from one rudiment to another with a smooth transition. Try naming the rudiments as they are executed. As you become a more advanced student, you will find that you can work out more complicated movements based on the fundamental rudiments which you know. Your instructor will help you by suggesting movements and showing you how to do them. The advanced routine which Roger Lee is demonstrating is placed in this film to show you what may be attained with diligent practice and attention to correctness of detail. <laughs>